Hello and welcome to Auten Math. We've got some exciting content coming your way. Uh, in this edition, we're going to talk about methods of proving triangles similar. All right, so let's talk about similar triangles. Remember we said a similar triangle, the ratios of the sides are going to be the same and the angles, uh, the corresponding angles are going to be congruent. So we can say now with the AAA postulate or angle, angle, angle postulate that if we have three congruent angles uh, between two triangles, so if there's a correspondence between the vertices of two triangles such that three angles of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles of the other triangle, then the triangles are going to be similar. So in this case we have two triangles, let's call them ABC uh, and also DEF. And between the two triangles I know that A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F. So I can say now by the AAA postulate that triangle ABC is going to be similar to DEF. Now if we think back to several chapters ago, I think it was one or two, where we learned that if we have two angles of two triangles that are congruent, then we know the third also has to be congruent. We, we understood that by the no choice theorem. Right, so the no choice theorem is going to change our AA postulate and make it somewhat irrelevant because now really all we need to have is just two angles, right? So if I have two angles that are congruent between two triangles, and I know the third angle also has to be congruent by the no choice theorem. So I can move on to theorem 62 and I can say if there exists a corresponding uh, correspondence between the vertices of two triangles such that just two angles, not three, of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles of the other, then the triangles are similar. So remember we wrote for congruence between triangles, we wrote SAS and HL and AAS and SSS and ASA. And now for uh, two similar triangles, we're going to write the similarity uh, shorthand and then AA in this case. And we have one more to give to you. So really now the AAA postulate, it doesn't really make any more sense to use that. And you're not going to use that in a two column proof, but we start with this just to show you that the, uh, that the theorem 62, which requires just two angles of one triangle to be congruent, is really the same as the AA postulate, but just adds the no choice theorem as uh, part of the similarity between the two triangles. All right, so we're going to use the similarity AA theorem number 62 when we state our reasons to establish the similarity between two triangles. All right, theorem 63. So we said that we have the AA similarity theorem. Now we have the SSS similarity theorem. Remember we said that the relationship of angles uh, is going to be equal in corresponding polygons when they're similar. And the ratio of sides is going to be the same in uh, similar triangles. So now we're on the second part of the relationship between similar polygons. So theorem, theorem 63 says if there exists a correspondence between the vertices of two triangles such that the ratios of the measures of the corresponding sides are equal then the triangles are similar. So we take a look at triangle ABC and DEF. We see that AB uh, length is 6, DE is 8. We see the length of BC is 9 and the length of EF is 12, and we see the length of DF is 16, and the length of AC is 12. And you can see that the relationship between the side lengths of triangle ABC and DEF is going to be 3 to 4. So because there is a correspondence between the triangles such that the ratio of the side lengths remains the same and is constant, uh, it's 3 to 4, then we can say now that we have two triangles that are going to be similar. All right, last one is theorem 64, and theorem 64 says that if there exists a correspondence between the vertices of two triangles, such that the ratios of the measures of two pairs of corresponding sides are equal, 
and the included angles are congruent. So we have the ratios between two sides um, are the same, and then the angle that's included between the two sides, or sandwiched in between the two sides, those angles are congruent. Then we can say the two triangles are similar by the SAS similarity theorem. Okay, so in this case, I have a ratio of two to one between DEF and ABC. And then I also have congruent angles, which are included between the two sides, DE and EF and AB and BC. So I can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by the SAS similarity theorem. All right, so we've got a bunch of questions for you. All right, so you're gonna determine <clears throat> whether the statement is true always, sometimes, or never. All right, if two triangles are similar, then they are congruent. And the answer to that is gonna be sometimes, right? Sometimes we'll have triangles that are similar and also congruent. And sometimes we're gonna have uh, triangles that are similar, but they're not gonna be congruent. So remember, for congruence to happen, the side lengths have to be the same between corresponding triangles. Uh, not the ratio between the side lengths has to be the same. Now I can have a ratio of one to one, in which case the two triangles are gonna be congruent. But if my ratio is other than one to one, then I will not have two triangles that are congruent. I might have triangles that are similar, but not congruent. Okay, question number two. If two triangles are congruent, then they are similar. Well, that's gonna be always, All right? So we have a relationship where the ratio of the side lengths is one to one. We know the angles are all, are all congruent. So uh, it is always gonna be the case that if two triangles are congruent, then they're similar. Right, an obtuse triangle is similar to an acute triangle. An obtuse triangle is similar to an acute triangle. And that answer is gonna be never. Never because we have an obtuse triangle with an obtuse angle and an acute triangle with all uh, angles less than 90 degrees. So we know that the angle measures of the two triangles are gonna be different. And therefore they cannot be similar. All right, number four, two triangles are similar. And that's gonna be Two right triangles are similar, that's gonna be sometimes. Uh, sometimes we might have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and sometimes we might have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. In those two cases, we have triangles that are not similar because the angles are going to be different. Next, two equilateral polygons are similar, and that answer is gonna be, it's gonna be sometimes. Sometimes because I can say that I have an equilateral triangle and I have a square, and I know that those two figures are not gonna be similar. All right, so now on to this next question. Two equilateral triangles are gonna be similar. And in this case, I know that the answer is gonna be always, right? Two equilateral triangles, the side lengths um, are gonna be in the same relationship, have the same ratio, and the angle measures are all gonna be the same. They're all gonna be 60 degrees. So it's always the case that two equilateral triangles are similar. And finally, two rectangles are similar if neither is a square, and that answer is gonna be sometimes. Sometimes because I can have a rectangle that looks like this, or I can have a rectangle that looks like this. So you can see that even though one is smaller than the other, there's a reduction between the first and the second. They don't have the same shape. All right, so the relationship of the side lengths is gonna be different between the two rectangles and therefore they will not be similar. All right, come and join us in a couple minutes. Take a look at some practice problems involving the AA similarity uh, theorem, the SAS similarity theorem, and the SSS similarity theorem.